Can you talk about that uh, sequence where you miss the free throw and, and get your own rebound? And um, I, give, I give credit to Brandon on that one. Um, he boxes, or he was uh, working with whoever was down there. He was trying to get around, so he had to worry about uh, blocking Brandon out, so it just left me a wide open lane. And uh, after I saw it bounce twice, I just sort of looked at myself and was like, oh, I could actually go get this. So just went up and, and grabbed the rebound, got, got a layup. Did you know that you had missed it? So you were oh, yeah. I, I knew right away. Um, I knew I, I uh, missed it to the right or, or however it happened. Um, and, and being a shooter, I know when I'm about to make or miss a shot most of the time. Um, so, yeah, I knew right away. Can you, have you done that at all this year? We put back your own. Well, no. We, uh, ones and twos don't get to rebound. Um, the offensive rebound in this program. You know, we have halfback, fullback. Um, so I, I just saw a chance and I and I went with it. Uh, you know, it was a, uh, late in the game and I, I know I had missed the, lay, uh, the free throw, so I knew coach might have been a little bit pissed off at me. So I just tried <laughs> to make the good play. So had they uh, gotten that rebound and scored on the other end, you may have had some. Oh yeah. I, might have been taken out or been yelled at a few times, so it was, it was good I got the opportunity. You were down 27-41. Did you give any thoughts of how hard it would be to come back? Oh, yeah, most definitely, especially with a crowd like this, like I talked about before, you know, and a great basketball team like Utah. We just had to get stops. I think they shot like 30% from the field today. Uh, so give credit to our defense. Um, I think we played our hearts out. And like you said, I think that was our largest deficit of six. And um, we just we, we dug deep and, and, and we fought and we got the win. Um, you know, I, I just think we're getting better every day. Um, to be honest with you, I think in practice, Coach does a great job not uh, running this into the ground. And he knows what we need to do to be successful, but yet still not be tired in the games. And you know, give credit to him. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a testament to how Coach is. And we know he's a player's coach. So we're just going to get ready for the next game. It, it helped us a lot, you know. I think uh, especially with someone like TJ, Brandon, Caleb, even myself, who, who have been through the program for three years. And, you know, we've all been in big games, uh, like the Elite Eight at Wisconsin. That obviously comes to mind. And, you know, we just dug deep defensively. When you have someone, when you have a team that can pick it up defensively on the road and at home, you know, it makes it really hard for uh, for people to beat us. Do you think TJ uh, might have a shot at player of the year? In fact, oh yeah, hundred percent. I'd be yeah. surprised if he didn't get it. Yeah. Why do you say that? He's a great basketball player. He's the one who makes this team work. Um, you know, assists, whatever we need, defense. Um, even uh, hustle plays, you know, he's the one on diving for loose balls. But, you know, I know we have a basketball player who's so unselfish, but yet one of our best players, you know, it makes it easy for, for everyone to love him and, and also, like, follow, follow his lead.